Hi, I'm Gordon McKinnon, also known as GK Machine. I run Invisible Ink Records here in Glasgow and I DJ and have done for 25 years as well under the name GK Machine. Welcome to my studio. I've always been like obsessed with music and started getting into collecting records. Well, not, to me it wasn't collecting, but buying records at the, I think I was um, eight. So I got pretty early on into very non-conventional, non-commercial alternative music. My mother wanted me to learn piano. Learning piano was supposed to be a sort of an encouragement. I didn't find it very encouraging. And then everything else, around about early 90s when I first bought decks, I got so immensely into electronic music. So therefore, I got the belt drive turntables. Shortly thereafter, I realized I wanted to produce music myself. No real problems then, you know, I think the gear was pretty cheap back then. I think I got the Juno 60 for 200 pounds, and now they're, I don't know, five or six times that amount. So everything went swimmingly until around about 2001 when I lost my hearing in, uh, in my left ear. And uh, I thought that was just a case of needing my ears syringed, but you know, I went to the ear, nose and throat clinic and they said I had some kind of acoustic neuroma, which is a sort of tumor. I really couldn't hear anything above um, something like 2,000 2, hertz, so like no high frequencies. So that really put a spanner in the works to some degree for DJing, or so I thought. But I managed to learn how to, you know, with DJing, the reason DJs wear headphones, you probably know this, is so you can line up the next track, there'll be one track playing over the PA, really loud, and then you've got the next one you're lining up in the other turntable, so therefore you need the headphones to hear what's going on there. I would have the headphones listening to the next track, and with my bad ear, I'd have to listen to what was on the PA. And I discovered that all I really needed was to hear this dull, of a kick drum or whatever and that gave me enough to be able to mix into it with the next record so I kind of thought it, it was the end of the line I kind of thought this is really depressing like music is one of the most important things if not the most important thing in my life and to have that sort of damaged was it was pretty depressing because I, I, I can never really hear music the same way and any new music, I don't really know what it sounds like. Uh, and only when I listen to old music that I've known for a long time, I can make the comparison in my memory of what it used to sound like and what it sounds like now. But I haven't let it interfere too much with my uh, DJ life, and I still play records at uh, loud volume. 2013, I think, probably was when I first had the idea of starting a record label. I suppose just being a DJ and like discovering sort of obscure music, I came across a lot of music that was either you could either just hear on band camp or like cassettes or maybe artists were doing like cdrs and well i think it had been in the back of my mind for a long time but it wasn't until round about then that i got the idea of being more proactive and thinking i could actually release a lot of this music which people aren't really hearing as widely as they as they could be and putting out on vinyl and that's why i decided to start invisible ink Producing music is, I suppose it's like writing a book, and you can get the equivalent of writer's block. Um, so therefore, I think it is quite important to have limitations and ideas and something to keep things fresh. And uh, so I'm lucky in that respect that I've got two instruments are Indonesian sarons. Kind of like glockenspiel, but they're really nice to have things like that around the house. And like I've got maracas, castanets, all sorts of other instruments. So that you're not just relying on your computer, you can bring other ideas in. And, uh, and that really helps keep things fresh. So, yeah, just adding something of your own, finding what that is, that's the thing, that's the trick for every producer, is finding your own, your own sound.